Hello, and welcome to this week's installment of the Cumberland County Public Library's virtual series, Crafts Around the House. I'm Lisa Dean, librarian at Headquarters Library, and today I'm going to show you some very easy patterns that you can draw to create your own adult coloring pages for hours of de-stressing fun. So let's get started. To begin your project, um, you will of course need paper. Um, you could use just about any kind of paper. Today I'm using sketch paper. And I also have some cardstock underneath there. Um, for this project, if you're especially if you're using like a felt tip pen or a marker, you'll want something to protect your surface underneath your paper because the pens will bleed. I'm using a fine point Sharpie marker today. Um, if you feel more comfortable tracing with a pencil, you can use a pencil to start with for your drawings. And of course, colored pencils to color with. A ruler for drawing straight lines and scissors if you would like to cut out your finished product and apply it to a bookmark or a greeting card. All right, to get started, we're going to create a, frame, a framework for our patterns. And so I'm gonna make a three by three inch square. And for this project, what I'm gonna do is section, create sections within the square. And for this, this example, I'm going to just make straight lines. So I'm going to measure an inch and a half in for the halfway mark. And that's gonna create four sections and we'll just make four different patterns. The first one I'm gonna show you is a very simple one. Um, if you wanna add a little bit of flair to your creations, and that's going to be these little curly stems. And so we're just gonna make sort of an S shape. And then start here from the bottom and curve out and just make a little curly mark and it should look like that and we'll just go up the line and yours doesn't have to look exactly like this it's all about what looks good to you you can make these as long or as short as you like I'm just gonna make another short little S right here that's something like what you should have when you are, are done with this if you want to make these straight up and down you can do that as well the next one I want to show you is a very simple one. It makes a nice background for some of your patterns. And it's this scallop shape design here. And for this one, we're going to start with our ruler so we can make straight lines to run through the square. And what we'll do is come out a little bit on the inside of the square and just sort of make a curve there between those two lines and then just continue all the way around. What that should look like when you've finished. All right, the next one we're going to do um, are these little lines with the rosettes and we'll try the diamonds with that. And we'll start as we did before. We're going to create S's down here in this square. And within there, we're just going to start off with circles. And then to create the little rosette shape, we'll just start at the edge of the circle, right here um, directly across from you. And then you just make sort of a spiral shape. This should look like this. And if we wanted to add another pattern to that, we're going to make another S shape. And here I'm just going to draw in sort of a little diamond shape and I'm gonna let the line that I've drawn be my guide. And there's my finished product for that one. And the last one I'm going to show you will be how to make one of these right here. And that uh, involves using the ruler. And what we're gonna do is divide the square into eight equal 
parts. From that point, you'll draw squares within a square. How many you have is completely up to you. It depends on just how detailed you want that to be. And that's all of my squares that I have drawn in here. Um, there's different possibilities with this design. Like you can do um, alternating black marks or you can just add colors like in this example. Or you can use this same steam here and just use two different colors and that makes a very interesting design as well. And if you want to take the designs that you learned today or any others, um, just use your imagination. Um, this design was based on uh, taking, uh, drawing a circle and then drawing eight lines and creating for, e for each petal. And then I just took some simple curves, simple lines, um, diamonds, and next thing I knew I had a mandala. <laughs> and that's how you create adult coloring patterns. If you enjoyed this program and would like to know more about it or any of our other virtual programs, you can just give us a call at 910-483-7727 or visit our website at www.cumberland.lib.nc.us. Thanks for watching.